Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel South West Sundays and welcome to Wellington. Today I'm going to do a walk through the countryside out to a beautiful cafe in the countryside called the White Post Cafe. So join me through the country lanes as I walk there. I'm going to start the walk at Wellington Sports Centre. Neil's coffee cart is often down this road and if you're wanting a coffee before you start your walk to the coffee shop then I'd highly suggest that you go there. It's a really lovely coffee. He's usually parked here just by the beautiful basins and they are looking splendid today. The fishermen out, people just relaxing for picnics and there are the coffee carts. So we are going to follow this footpath that goes up towards Linden House Nursing Home. I really love this path. It's just so leafy, especially at this time of year. It's just an absolute pleasure to walk through and it's really refreshing. It's a hot sunny day today, but it's just really refreshing walking through here. And as you can hear, the water trickling past and the birds are singing. Absolutely beautiful. We've come from just down there and then just in front of us is the Linden House Nursing Home but we don't want to go that way, we want to go up that little path there and that brings us out onto a road which leads us down to Westford. There are many different ways to get to the White Post Cafe. This one today, I'm kind of, I've got a vague route in mind, but I'm just making it up as I go along really. But I will include a map at the end of it. And I will include the map from this point because I've just remembered to turn my watch on. Basically, I've just walked through the basins and up to Linton House. And I'm going to turn my watch on now. So let's go. I'm going to record this walk. And I will put a map at the end of the video, as I said, so you can take a look at it. So there's Linden House Nursing Home down that road there. And we're turning out left down this road here. So we're now in Westford and I'm going to take the little route along the stream. Oh, I absolutely love it down here. It's just so pretty. And the sound of the water is just so refreshing as well. So at the end of Westford Stream, we're just going to turn right down this road here. So today's walk will be not quite a circular walk, but I won't be coming back in the same direction as I'm going out. So keep watching to see where I end up. This isn't the most direct route there, I must say, but it will be really pretty. There's the road that we just walked up. And at that junction, we are going to continue around this way. Hello, pussycat. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on the right path. Langford Budville is where we're going and it's a mile and a half down this road. I was a little bit concerned actually because I've not done this walk for quite some time. I was a little bit concerned that I was getting the directions wrong but I seem to be going in the right direction. So yeah, I discovered these, these walks during the furlough time actually. Um, I had lots of time on my hands to explore the beautiful countryside. And that's just what I did. Oh, I just absolutely love walking these country lanes. They are so pretty. Okay, so we have hit a junction and I'm pretty sure that we're going down that way. So I turned right at that junction and if this is the wrong way, then I'm going to have a, a big old hill to climb back up again. But I'm pretty sure that it's this way that goes out to Langford Bedville. 
isn't this just such stunningly beautiful countryside? It's just Britain at its best. If you enjoy watching my videos of the West Country, you may also like to watch my fellow YouTuber Paul's videos. He has a channel called West Country Wanderings and he gets to places, really beautiful countryside places, that I don't have the opportunity to get to or it's a bit more difficult for me to get to. So you might like to check out his channel, West Country Wanderings, as well. Beautiful rolling hills on an absolutely idyllic day. We've just walked up that road there and in this field to the right, there are just some incredible views. I don't know if you can make it out in the distance on the horizon there, but there's Wellington Monument. So here we are, we've got to the White Place Cafe and we're just going to walk up the driveway here. If you're driving here, it's just off of the road that goes to Wivelliskin, which is four miles away, and Belf Eaton is three miles away. There's also a nursery at White Post. Yep, I'm still going the right way. This is a cafe. And there's a little car park at the top of the drive here. So here's the times. Feel free to pause the video here. So today is Thursday, Friday even, and it's open till four o'clock. I found myself a lovely spot in the garden. And I chose an Americano coffee and a beautiful slice of almond and apple cake. So here's just a little look at the nursery there. I've never actually been around it. I must do one day. It looks really good. And there's a really lovely little shop. So that was the white paste coffee shop. And the apple and coconut cake was absolutely delicious. And the Americano as well. Now there are a lot of ways that I could walk back to Wellington but I think I'm going to go back a pretty way through Runnington. So Runnington is about a mile away and I'm going to use this lane to get down there. Oh my goodness, how incredibly gorgeous is this view? It is just looking so perfect today with the bright blue cloudless sky and the red soil and all the greens and blues. It's absolutely beautiful. Langford Bedville, where we came from, was just up there. And now we turn right towards Runnington and that's just a quarter of a mile away. And it is a tiny little place with a gorgeous tiny church and I'll show you that in a minute as well. And then from there we're going to probably walk down through some fields down to the River Tone and back into Wellington that way. Just in the distance up there you can see Wellington Monument. beautiful tree blossoms. I don't know how it's coming out on the camera but that is so bright yellow. I don't know really what it is. Maybe you could let me know in the comments if you recognise what that yellow tree is. Now there's a footpath that I've not noticed before going right off of the main road. Now I love finding new footpaths but today's probably not the best day for it if I'm trying to show you the route that I want to show you. So we'll keep going down this road towards Runnington. And I'll explore that one another day. Whoa, these are absolutely beautiful roses. So that's where we've just come from down there. And just here we have our first glimpse of Runnington Church. Let's go and take a closer look. So here's the gate. This is St. Peter and St. Paul Church.
this really is the dinkiest little church I have seen for a long time. It is so cute. If cute the way you can describe a church, it is absolutely very, very sweet. Look at that. That's just such an idyllic picture, I think. So relaxing here. Listening to the birds and sitting in the sunshine. Should we take a little look inside? I've never been in here before, actually. Let's go and have a look. Oh my goodness, it's so tiny in here. It's absolutely beautiful. So there's just 15 pews in here. Small but perfectly formed. And you can drop off donations here as well for the Wellington Food Bank. So from the church, we're just gonna go through this field over this stile. I absolutely love this walk down through the field. And this brings us out eventually by the River Tone. I didn't really come out prepared to make this video, so I'm a bit low on phone battery. So I think probably for the rest of this video, it will be photos rather than video. But I'll try and do some voiceover them as well to let you know where we're going. So we continue down that field. And at the bottom of it, we climb over this stile. And then it's just a case of following the arrows for a bit. At the main road, we need to take a right turn. And then after a minute or two, we'll take another right down Birchill's Hill. Continuing down Birchill's Hill, we walk past Tonedale Mill. And then turn left towards Linden House Nursing Home, and we're on the same path as we started. Well, here I am back at Wellington Sports Centre where I started the walk earlier on. It's been an absolutely gorgeous walk. It's getting on for six miles if you include the time that I didn't record as well. So yeah, really, really lovely walk. I highly recommend it. And I'll put a map at the end of this video so you can see exactly where I walked. And you can pause the video there if you like and take a screenshot or something of the map if you want to use it. Thanks for joining me, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video.